Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we are looking into what's coming in for the month of October. Now this month's theme is growth and expansion. Your journal prompt for this month is going to be something along the lines of what area of my life do I see the most growth over the past year? And what area of my life could I use a little bit more attention or intention? Okay. Now getting into the astrological transits on October 2nd, we have the new moon solar eclipse. This is going to be in the sign of Libra. If you feel like you're overthinking, overanalyzing, try to ground your energy. And push through the fear. On October 9th, we have Jupiter that is going to go retrograde on October 9th. This will give us a slowed down perspective on where we can be more intentful within our lives. So whenever there's a retrograde, a lot of times things will feel like it's at a pause or a standstill in certain areas. Um, so it's important to understand that even though I know there's a lot of bad misconceptions about the retrograde, if we really look at these retrogrades as a benefit to help us to push forward because there's ebbs and flows throughout life, um, it'll help us to transmute the energy a little bit easier. Now on October 11th, Pluto is going to go direct. If there's been any resistance to change, this will lighten when Pluto goes direct. It's going to be time to be open, time for accepting things that are changing, things may be different moving forward, and just really trying to be okay with change. October 17th, we have the full moon in Aries. You may feel a need for personal space from friends and family, and that's okay. Being open about the space is what's going to be key. Now, on October 22nd, we have the sun squaring Pluto. This is going to shine a light on any past karmic cycles that we may be experiencing that we're wrapping up at this time. And to bring it into the light to finally settle the karmic debt. All in all, October is going to be a month of preparation, of beginning phases of change. So grounding your energy and being prepared is going to be the key. Now, please keep in mind, guys, the messages here on YouTube are general, meaning they're not going to resonate every time with every person. It's really about the title. If there's something in the title resonating, there's most likely going to be something in the message for you. For information on rituals, for ritual kits, for personal readings, it's all linked below in the description box. And if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome here, and it does help to set intentions for future messages. So let's dive right into Taurus's energy for the month of October. And let's see what comes out for you through this energy. Most important message here for Taurus spirit. What do my Taurasian friends need to know? What do they need to see through this upcoming energy? Please and thank you. Nine of Cups, Three of Pentacles, Three of Swords. This is like, am I ready to move on? Am I really ready to move on? 
definitely feel this betrayal energy. So it's like in the past you've been hurt, but I feel like you've taken the time and effort to overcome. So what's the questioning? King of Swords, Six of Swords, Three of Pentacles. I feel like you're kind of getting in your own way, if that makes sense. You're up in your head over analyzing, overthinking a situation, whether this is good or bad. Is this person meant to be in my life? If there is any questioning, of course, always 100% wholeheartedly wait. Um, make sure that you're ready. Make sure that you want to be... with this person, in this relationship, in this position. But from what's coming out here in this message, it's like there is an intense connection here. So the King of Swords is like you're trying to detach emotionally and look at this very straightforward. And even though you want to look at this very straightforward. You don't want to detach emotionally. Not always. Okay. Especially when this has to do with the relationship. I feel like you detaching is a way to react to the betrayal. And it's just like a natural reaction. The Hierophant energy, I feel like there's a person in your life, Taurus, that wants to take things to the next level with you, but you're questioning this. So let's clarify the Six of Swords. I do feel like this person brings in a lot of happiness, a lot of clarity. No back and forth argument, no tit for tat, the Five of Swords in the reverse, so that's always... A positive thing the wheel of fortune and the upright the eight of wands things are moving forward there's communication here this person has your back they want to work together what are you questioning Taurus is this trauma response maybe thinking that this is too good to be true it's like you're waiting for the shoe to drop I do feel like this person is trying to get you to open up. And I feel like they're making an extorted effort to do so. Okay. It's working in your favor as you are looking at this straight, very straightforward, very practically. Definitely a need to Express your emotions a little bit here with this person. Maybe even if just like in the past I was hurt. So that's what makes me withdrawn. I do feel a lot of happiness. I do feel a lot of love. I do feel like you treat me well. So what's next, Taurus? This Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups energy feel like this person, if they haven't expressed this already, they want to take things to the next level. But it's almost like you are worried about this. And you may very well get in your own way. Again, I will 100% wholeheartedly always believe that if there's any questioning, wait. But I feel like there's something that's about to be revealed that's going to help you to open up, if that makes sense, help you to um, see that this person is, they're not just blowing smoke up your butt, but they actually want to be there and they want to um, work together to find a common ground. Be open be open to this experience. I feel like be open. Again, if there's any questioning, wait, but be open to seeing where this goes, how this plays out. 
So let's pull over the advice guidance moving forward. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. For information on rituals, for ritual kits, for personal readings, it's all linked below in the description box. And if you found the message was helpful, if it's resonating, please give it a thumbs up. Or comment below how it was helpful, how it was resonating. You never know how your story could help another person. The Devil, the Ten of Wands, and the Seven of Pentacles. This devil energy, I feel, is from your past. So I don't know if this is like a behavior pattern or if this is like an ex that's coming up. It's maybe causing a little bit of fear, a little bit of worry that's causing you to feel burdened. But I feel like this is part of why there's this anxious energy. So just be mindful. I definitely feel like this person wants to come together. They want to work together. But you have to be on the same page in order for this to work. So the question boils down to, Taurus, are you ready to open up? Your soul journey message here is adversity. I accept the challenges are the best way to learn. So the message that comes with this card, Taurus, no one ever said life was going to be easy. Obstacles are presented to you so that you may overcome them. Believe that you will because if you don't believe in yourself, no one else will. Confidence comes to those who will succeed in conquering adversity. And then the next hurdle won't seem so daunting. Adversity is an opportunity for you to reach out to your soul family. You are not alone in this time of challenge. If you need help, others are waiting to offer assistance. This test may have come to your life to teach you to receive rather than to give. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Taurus. I feel like that's a good solid message coming out. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. I hope this message was helpful for you and I look forward to reading your cards again soon. Namaste. So just wanted to come on and talk a little bit about what's new and exciting for our tribe and here on the channel. So on Tuesdays, I'm going live at 1 p.m., most Tuesdays that I don't have an event that weekend, only because I'm usually preparing for an event. Also for events to connect in person, check out Facebook. That's where I can share the actual event page for you to go check out each individual event. If you're interested in the newsletter, the monthly newsletter comes out the third week of the month. So if that's something that you're interested in, you sign up over on the website. On the link tree, I have all the links on how to connect with me, whether it be Facebook, Instagram, I also have Teespring, the website. Also keep in mind guys, through the website is the only way to book a personal reading. If you reach out to me um, and message me personally, that's fine, but I'm always going to refer you back to the website because that has my schedule. It has a calendar where you get to select the day and the time where your reading will be done. Please just give me a little bit of grace when doing these events also guys. It can take a lot out of me to have to prepare and also to set up and to interact whether it be a day or a two day event. So just give me a little bit of grace the weeks that I have the events going on. I promise I didn't forget about you guys. I promise I will be back um, and I will be live again soon. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support, for liking, for subscribing, for sharing the content. You guys are all amazing and I look forward to connecting again soon. Namaste.